um, in this video i'm going to show you how to how to connect your account your metamax account to your webcast so that's basically what i'm going to show you in this video so um just watch the end of it and you see how to do it correctly so let's go to webcast quickly and let's open the webcast okay so so remember immediately you open your webcast what you click is to click on this your profile icon at the top left there so click on that click on this setting icon this setting icon here you click on that then you click on verified addresses right let me go back sorry click on verify then you click on another address and you click on this connect don't use this email link use this connect right as you can see already i have a, i have linked two addresses before so click on this connect it will open on your browser like this Going to open on your browser like this so what you do is if you open like this so i'm going to tell you um the browser you are going to use the browser you're going to use is called mysis browser that's the one i'm using so if you check it at the top here you will see this is the browser i'm talking about so look at this look at this mysis browser so if you go to your um play store you're going to see that application which you can install and then my sis so look at it here this is the application and you can see let me cancel that so i have the extent uh, the browser already so you can click and install then let's open it let me show you one last thing you need to do when you have this browser installed on your phone make sure to use click on this button that's the extension button right so click that to set up your extension that's the extension button so before that open a new tab like this and then search for chrome web store chrome web store that is the one to click chrome web store extensions i hope you have seen that one i click then if you come here you will see chrome web store.google.com right click on that one at the top then when you get there you download your this is how to install extensions to your mysis browser or other browsers right so you type metamax here metamax right and then search for it click on search on your keyboard right then you see this metamax look at this this is the right one to install so look it very well you will see metamax.io and it's also tick verified can you see that verified button there so that's the one to install so if you check very well you see that i have installed it already so you click on add to chrome and then click ok then add after that after adding it you now click to if you have metamask already um metamask wallet account already what you need to do is just to use the seed phrase of your previous metamask and then you click on this extension after installing this metamask click on this button here which is the extension button right you click on that you are going to see your metamax here i'm just taking my time to show you everything you need to do so that you get it correctly and this is the best browser to use as far as you are interacting in the web3 space so make sure to follow these steps and get this browser for your interaction so click on this metamax when you are done then you will see create accounts or imports so if you have metamax already you will see import option you're going to see two options i have my account already so that's why you are seeing it prompt me to put my password which i have the account already so if you did not have the account when you open it like this it's going to give you two options to choose from either to create a new account or to import so if you have a metamask account already and you have the seed phrase handy with you what you do is to click on that import option and then you use your metamask seed phrase to import there and then you'll be able to get back to the your metamask account on this extension but if you don't have any metamask account before you can create a new account and put in your password and then you you lock in and after that let me open my metamask and show you so this is how it's going to look like as you can see that's the balance i have in my et room i've already linked this wallet so i've already linked this wallet address already before now so 
if you have not linked your own before this is how you would do so make sure to set your metamask up to these points that i told you then go back to the other link you click from your webcast which brought you down here when you come over here select this ethereum and then you can also select, uh, connect your solana wallet address as well the one you are going to use for solana is, solana is called phantom look at it here this is the phantom wallet that has um solana address or solana stuff like that which you can use to also connect but first of all let's connect our evm which is the ethereum address like metamask so click on that click on this ethereum then click on connect here right so click on the connect and then select metamask here make sure to put this page at the um, desktop mode how do you do it click on the three dot at the top right corner here click on that and then you see desktop mode make sure to activate this next desktop mode here right click on it and it will give you something like this so you click on connect select metamask and then wait for it to open and then so i'm just waiting for it to open right so that's just basically what you have to do you click on next here you click on next here look at it there just click on next and then click on confirm look at it here click on confirm and you give it the permission to connect so that's how to connect successfully and it will now appear here that you have linked the wallet right so look at it there look at the address there but i have linked it already before you now click on the next thing you click on after doing that is to click sign message that's to verify your ownership that they are, they are the owner so i click on sign then it will pop up something like sign you sign up and you will see something like this you are all set your address has been verified and linked to your Facasta account so you can now either add another wallet or you return back to your webcast so just click on return to webcast so that's basically what you have to do i really recommend you guys to use uh, mysis browser because it's one of the applications you can use and you have very nice um, interactions on webcast sorry not webcast alone any web3 interaction as far as you are using phone it will be easier for you to navigate those platforms right with your phone so let me show you the wallet we've connected so far on the webcast so let's go back i see i have two wallets already connected to the, so these are the ones if you want to remove you click on remove that's how to remove if you want to add another one you can click to add this is the um, solana address is the evm address which is the metamask so that is it so that's how to do it guys so watch this video very carefully and understand everything i said and you'll get it right